Hey, I'm Shark, and welcome to Readings. Pisces, come on in. Pisces, the first thing is I have a message from the other side. Possibility of, I'm picking up a male. Could be male or female, but I am picking up a male. Uh, a young person. Not young, young, but probably in their uh, late 30s, mid 40s. There is a gentleman who's saying to me um, that he was adopted. Uh, that he came with a set of problems. And also, um, he has the stages of the moon on one arm. The phases of the moon on one arm. Or he was talking to you about getting a tattoo with the phases of the moon on his arm before he uh, tragically left. Obviously he was, from what I'm seeing, he was killed in a uh, car accident. But there's, there's, there's a little bit of confliction because what I'm getting is he was going to the beach. So he was either he either died on his way to the beach in a car, or he died at the beach. A uh, possible drowning. Although I don't, I, I see water, but I, I see the car more prominent. So I would say a car accident could have happened around a beach. Anyways, this person has been coming to me today to say hello to their Pisces. So, maybe one of you will know him. Maybe not. We're going to do a Pisces reading. We're going to go to the Field Tarot. These are by uh, Hannah Elizabeth Fofana, the Field. We're going to do a Pisces reading. Pisces. Wow, I got so loud there. He must have been a loud talker. Let's get her on. Let's get her done, Pisces. It's been a loud talker. Okay. Let's go. The manifestation here is incredible. Through the roof. Wanting a whole brand new beginning, but the manifestation here is like, wow. Master Manifester. This is someone, even if you're not going through the practice of manifesting, uh, this is a Pisces who is definitely manifesting uh, a whole brand new um, beginning. Pisces who is ready for something new, something different. There's the High Priestess. And as we all know, that is Pisces. The High Priestess coming out here. This is a Pisces well. Keep your energy up. This is, uh, this is incredible. Um, the High Priest. The High Priestess. I, I don't know if you even know that you're manifesting. You're probably just trying to feel good. Trying to keep yourself in belief. Trying to keep faith. Knowing that things are, are turning around and getting better. It's beautiful. With the four of wands here. Followed by the queen. The queen of discs. I think you got a lot of new ideas. I think you got some really good ideas impregnated with ideas it's not the empress but i gotta go with what i'm hearing there's there's something here about the four of wands no the four of wands is a marriage card or a great bond that you have with somebody or some sort of a bond but the bond here appears to be with the queen of pentacles this this is uh <laughs> this is pisces all the way this is pisces using their high priest or high priestess um, manifesting or just knowing 
feeling and knowing and believing. Try not to get all wrapped up in your head. Uh, get ready. Get ready. By the looks of this, get ready. Don't fall. Keep going. Perseverance, yes indeed. With the seven of discs, perseverance. The wait card. Waiting, knowing. Waiting and knowing that things are going to be good. Things are happening. There's a the Hierophant. Wow. There's a the Hierophant coming out here. The Divine. And the Moon in the Reverse. The moon in the Reverse. No more veil. No more shield. Seeing clearly. Seeing what must be seen. Did you have like a... Did you have an epiphany? Did you have a dream? Did you just have something that... Did you have someone come to you and speak about how great you are? Did you have something happen that made you feel blessed? Well, keep going with the Pisces. The chariot, something's coming towards you. Justice. Resilience. Now, the resilience is the Nine of Wands. There's something coming towards you. It's some kind of karma. It could be a person. It could be a place that you go to. It, it, it could be anything here. It could be a love. But the chariot moves fast. The chariot's on its way. And it's bringing something karmic. Or it's bringing you your justice. Or it's looking for justice. We need more cards. But with the Nine of Wands. Now, as you know, the Nine of Wands is a heavy load. It's a heavy load to bear. Somebody coming with a heavy load to bear. But this seems to be a karmic thing um, that happens to you, Pisces. Whatever you're doing now, stay on course. You're starting to see everything. The Hierophant is with you. Spirit's with you. You're waiting. You're knowing. You're believing. And then out of the blue, something comes towards you. Something karmic. Hold on. What does it want? The nine of discs. This could be um, what you might be thinking. Let me get another card. The Emperor. Innocence. The Six of Cups. Okay. Let's try to get it together here. We go from the Nine of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles. Through an Emperor. Then the Six of Cups shows up. Someone from the past. This is someone who fluctuates. This is someone definitely karmic. This is someone, could be anybody. I'm not seeing a lover. It could be anybody. This could be a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, your kids. But they go here. This is how they fluctuate. Heavy and light. They go from, oh, what was me? To, I'm blessed. They go so up and down. So there's a possibility here. And with the emperor, with this kind of emotional instability, followed by the emperor. This is someone this is someone not dangerous just so damn unpredictable not dangerous but it's a soulmate so it could be anybody. Someone you haven't seen for a while. From the past wanting to talk to you. 
but they come to you in mixed emotions. And you can probably hear it in one sentence. So anyways, I was so happy yesterday and I was walking down the street and then all of a sudden a storm cloud appeared. You know, they, they can just have this good mixed with bad. Um, peace mixed with trauma. Very, very hard to explain. Um, a possibility of um, altered states of mind. Could be drugs. Could be alcohol. But there's definitely altered states of mind here. And they move fast. With the chariot in the front, it moves quick. They go for, like this. They, they go from one conversation, and, and it's pretty good, and then all of a sudden into deep, dark uh, conversation, bam, like that, or feeling sorry for themselves, or angry, and, and then la la la, happy, and, and just very, very emotional. And I'm going to say it's, it's probably due to some sort of drug. But being an emperor, th this is someone who can be extremely, extremely difficult to get to know, let alone want to know. Do you know what I mean? Let's keep going. It's karmic. And just come towards you. Pisces. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Shields up. Shields up. Mr. Spock. Shields. Right there. Shields up. Guard up. And yes. With this energy. Yes. Guard up. Now we got the Wheel of Fortune coming in here for you, Pisces. Followed by the King of um, Discs, which is the King of Money, which is power. Wheel of Fortune moving you towards either enlightenment, understanding, knowing, seeing, or cash. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Because I really want to know who this emperor is, what they want. What do they want with Pisces when Pisces is doing well and getting it all together. And getting her on and getting her done. Okay, so the two of swords coming out here. Decisions. But this is indecision. This is I can't make a decision. Very, very hard for me to make a decision. Prince of Swords. And you know who the Prince of Swords is. Determination. But the Prince of Swords to me. Is who I like to call the Bastardo. Bastardo. Deceptive messenger. Can't make decisions. Flighty. Never quite know what they're going to say. They could really, really surprise you. They could be. Uh, very up. Or very down. They could be karmic. They could be indecisive. Not knowing why they came. Just felt that they should. That's the emperor. I am the emperor. I just felt that I should come. Pisces. Keep your high priestess with you. Your high priest. Keep the hierophant with you. You got spirit on your side. There seems to be a great test coming towards you. I, I mean, your first two cards. You're feeling something better. You're feeling something better. You're rising up. Please check and, and watch my other channel, Looking Beyond the Veil. Look below in the description box and you'll find the link. I just put a video out there. I can't remember what it's called. But check that out. It was the last video I put in about ascending. 
check that out because I've got Pisces here feeling a change knowing the change is coming feeling good about themselves and the world doesn't want that the world does not want you to raise yourself the world doesn't want to lose you the world wants to keep you in misery because a miserable world loves company and so here comes the test energy the ace of wands tower so what does the bath start i have to say it says well with the uh ace of wands and the tower You know, Pisces, you're doing a good work in yourself. I want you to keep your shields up. I want you to be aware. And see who's knocking on your door or texting you. I want you to remember. You've already been in the tower. And you came out. And you came out on your own. Your own strength, you fought through it. Don't fight to get back in. It's not worth it. I mean, from this energy that I'm seeing, I mean, God love them. But there seems to be uh, altered states of mind here. The Empress. That's it. The Empress and the Six of Swords. Okay, so this is what it is. The Emperor on the board and the Empress, very, very far apart, with all kinds of stuff in the middle. All kinds of stuff, indecision, and, and and the wheel is turning for you, Pisces, and the power is here. But the emperor, emperor, and the empress. This is karmic. Very very far apart, not close together at all. The six of swords. Pack up those six swords and get the hell out of dodge. Go to the more tranquil waters. Is where you are right now. Feeling good feeling good and we all say you know what I feel so good if they come back no I'm gonna tell them we're done but it's it's easy to say that but when you come face to face with someone that you love so much that you wouldn't do a tower for them it's harder to say it face to face two ones Queen of Swords. It's a hell of a lady. Eight of Swords. The Queen of Swords makes judgment calls. The Queen of Swords is usually a um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, someone whose whose person has passed. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> My mind goes blank at times. Because I hear spirit and I, I can't think of the words in, well, in the world. I can't think of the words. This is someone who grieved. This is someone who brought themselves back stronger. A very, very good friend. A powerful enemy. But when this person, male or female, feels the Eight of Swords, this is one hell of a karmic con connection. When strength feels the Eight of Swords, this is a hell of a karmic connection. It, it, it's, what can I say? The Eight of Swords is being trapped in the mind. When you can take the Queen of Swords and then trap them in their mind, that's a very powerful entity that's coming towards you. Now, I want you to be careful, Pisces, because there is a powerful entity coming towards you. And I want you to say to yourself, can I stand and look at them? Can I? Can I demand equal give and take? Can I demand boundaries? Can I demand respect? Or will I fall? Are they so powerful that I will fall? 
And then ask yourself if you should answer the knock at the door. Or if you should let them continue knocking. Because like I said, if you can entrap the Queen of Swords, which by the way is a Libra. If you can take this person and put them all up in their head and confuse them and make them feel trapped. This very, very strong person from what I'm picking up in the beginning of the reading. A very, very strong Pisces. Don't answer the door then. Because you're not ready to see that person. You're not ready for whatever it is that you have to say or what you want to hear. The Five of Cups and the Disappointment. Yes, indeed. Don't answer the door. I'm going to name it. Don't answer the door. Pisces. The beginning of your reading is absolutely spectacular. The belief that you have right now of bigger and better things. Of the joy that you can have. Feeling it. All of a sudden, have you been like, we'll say, have you been vacuuming or all of a sudden you just smile and you feel, you feel like laughing for no reason? This reading is yours. Having feel good moments for no reason? This reading is yours. Spirit is with you. You're seeing clearly. You're ready to forge ahead. But before we forge ahead, especially after we've been through something karmic, we will be tested. That test comes quickly. The wheel of fortune is moving in your favor. This is your prize. Pass the test. Either open the door and crumble or leave the door closed and say goodbye. The wheel of fortune is moving. And to the king of pentacles, the king of money. You are the empress. You, you have some great, great ideas. You're, you're, you're feeling happy for no reason. Life is, is getting good. Starting to see small blessings. Getting up in the morning, seeing the sun. Oh, what a beautiful day. What a blessed day. Your lesson or your test, your test comes quickly. Can you handle it? Don't answer the door if you can't. If you can't, do not answer that damn door. Because the strong Pisces that is emerging in you will become trapped in their own head. Strength will fall. Now, this is this is a very sad two cards right here. This is the emperor or the empress is falling. Trapped in the mind again. Tower. Defeat. And disappointment. And disappointment is probably because, well, I was doing so good. And I fell for it again. Who we got here? Libra. Aries, Taurus, Aries. Very large Aries. Virgo. Virgo again, my God. Pisces. Cancer. Libra again. Taurus. Pisces again. Unbelievable. Okay. Pisces. Um, that, that first card that I read, I said it was the, uh, the uh, Ace of Wands. It was the Princess of Wands. And, and the Princess, or well, the Prince, come on, swing it around. The Princess of Wands, either male or female, is the beginning 
of good feelings. The beginning, because they're young, right? They're young. The beginning of looking forward to new encounters, to new lands. Manifestation. So, um, just starting to feel good, starting to feel better, looking forward to bigger and better things. Watch out for that knock. Pisces, I want to thank you so much for joining me tonight. And if you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. Don't forget to ring the bell. So you know the next time Spirit and I are here to speak with you, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak at all. And um, welcome new subscribers. So nice to have you with us. Namaste, Pisces.